category. Let's do five. Gotta go, gotta go. Maybe it's not too uh, Come on, Keon. Federalism. Federalism for five. The big spender. <laughs> Pictionary. Who wants to draw? I'm awful. <laughs> If you're an awful drawer, you're the best person to come do it. <laughs> Who's up? I'll draw it. That's what I need. Got it? Yep. Okay. Hell yeah, damn it, that's a film. That's what I need. Got it? Don't say that loud. Wait, really? Yeah, really. Got it? Okay. Okay, if you'll hit the light, just turn off, do not want to turn off the screen, but just hit the light switch. I only have 10 minutes of film. Okay. 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 Uh, One minute starting on the 12. Wait, where's Go. I got it. significance of the beach that we discussed today. Y'all have it first. First hand I see, we'll have it next. Let's see, y'all are the OKCs. One, two, three, four, five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Here's your chance to take the lead comfortably. What's the significance? Y'all will have it next, but y'all have it now. Isn't it that you can't cross state lines with a woman with immoral man, intent? Man. The Man Act. One, two, three, four, five. The Man Act says that it is illegal. One, two, three, four, five. To cross state lines with a woman with immoral purposes in mind. How does that relate to anything with the beach? We were talking we about, about how if one of us goes to the beach with women and we cross state lines, then you know you could easily be ch charged under the Man Act if you you know uh, share, are, hotel room. share hotel room or get caught doing Zoom it. Zoom in on Gabe. I think Gabe was the example of it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, I'm not five. Gabe. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I got him. <laughs> no. I found Don't him. Don't kill him, though. Don't kill him, though. No. Okay. Yeah, the Man Act. And what was the Man Act originally designed to deal with? Oh, women were getting kidnapped and taken across state lines to be used as prostitutes. Prostitution. One, two, three, four, five. First hand I see. What's the significance, or how does the Interstate Commerce Clause work? Is that a hand? I guess it isn't. Is that, the, yeah, go ahead. I saw one back here. Okay, you 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 were first. I'll, I'll go with you, Zoe. Go have it. Uh, products that are shipped between different states, the government can regulate. And what are the two conditions? What two things must happen for interstate commerce power to kick in? Exchange of goods and services. Exchange of goods and services. One, two, three, four, five. And that's across between state lines. And it's got to cross state lines. One, two, three, four, five. Can you give me any examples that we discussed besides prostitution? Cracker barrel. <laughs> Can you give me any court cases, examples, that dealt with the interstate commerce power? Five. Y'all will have it next. Four. Three. Oh, you got so much time now. To be, I'm, I'm trying to kill time for you. You got so much time. Five points in answer. Three. Zoe, I'm really trying hard. Two. Two. One. Go ahead. Give me an example. Um, the civil rights. What about civil rights? The first thing they could desegregate using um, the buses. interstate commerce was buses, but like Greyhound buses. Greyhound buses and trailways buses. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly. Anything else? Four. They tried to use the Commerce Act to make guns in schools illegal. They did. The Guns in School, Guns Free School Zone Act. And what happened with that? Oh. It was too convoluted today. Yeah. It was really, really convoluted, and that's one of the rare examples of a limitation on the commerce power. Was it the first time that they couldn't use it? I didn't say it was the first time, but it was one of the rare examples of a limitation. Anything else? Three, two, one. Y'all have anything? How did they define? How did they define commerce in Gibbons versus Ogden? Five. One word. Four. Intercourse. They defined it as intercourse. One, two, three, four, five. More specific. Oh, that's not your group? My bad. Yeah, I, I need to make sure. you got to watch me. Um, one, two, three, four, five. They defined it as commercial intercourse. In other words, the exchange of goods and services that must cross state lines. Go ahead. If you'll, if you'll click it, if y'all will pick me the next category, and it's articles for four. Articles for four. My bad. 
articles for four, and go ahead and uh, go ahead and just click off of that. First hand I see webcams. You guys have it. You've got it next. Four, three. Uh, a school in New York tried to give their students computers, but they were watching them through the webcam. And they didn't. Okay. They didn't. Right. Right. They didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Samson, is that right? No. Is that right? No. Just say no. <laughs> Brian said no. Minus four. <laughs> I gave y'all the chance to take it away from them. Y'all do have it next. It was, it was in Philly. But it was in Philly. Go ahead. So, so the teachers, so what happened they, in Philly? They put these uh, new computers in the school and they... And they no, no, they the, gave it to the... the, the they laptops. gave them to the students. They gave the them laptops. laptops, the laptops and then webcams. the laptops would be open and they had web cameras. So that they could be able to see anything that came out of the camera or anything that the students access onto the computers. Which then, if the, computer, if the students use them to. It's actually really good. First hand I see. So, we have the other one of the webcams that we, from class we talked about. So, that was the drivers, the cameras. First hand I see. No. Web cameras in the cars. Yeah. That's what he just said. Yeah, I'm agreeing. That's what I was getting ready to say. Yeah. Who's got it first, Zoe? Three hands came up. Who should get it? Okay, I, I will listen to the group. They said it's y'all's web cameras and cars. Four. In Southern Maryland, a hundred families signed up for this thing where they were going to put web cameras in the car. It was like the, on the dash cam or in the mirrors. They could see what the kids. And every time, like the G. Force, was it? Hold on, let's slow down. So, a hundred, hundred people, actually, no, 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 Southern no, no, Maryland. No, no, no. Okay, see, so yeah, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Families in Southern Maryland signed up to put uh, web cameras in cars of drivers. What were the ages? Teenage, like 18 to 18, 16, I don't remember the ages. But they were. Oh, young that's young kind kids. of an important detail. Four. They were 16, teenagers. 16 to 18. 16 to 20. 16 to 20 year olds. Oh, okay. If. <laughs> Oh, no, that, um, yeah, I don't think it was. Minus four. Go ahead, Gabe. Gabe, you got it. No, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I saw your hand. No, you smiled at everything. It was in my pocket. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. What is the age range? Age range? Age range of the, the people that got the, the cars, the cameras. Yeah, I want to say 16, 22. Did you say 16 to 24? Sure, no, yeah. No, no. Yeah. I think you said 16 yeah, to 24. Yeah. I, I, I'm willing to go with 16 yeah. to 24. What do these cameras do? All right. The cam All right, they filmed the what's going on in the car. So, like, when the car stops immediately or it has some sort of change in direction, the camera comes on and shows what the driver was doing. One, two, three, four, sudden stop. One, two, three, four, swerving or change of direction. If the car actually has a change in G-forces, which somebody else said, due to sudden stopping, or if in fact it was like a radical change in direction, the cameras click on, how long do they film? I want to say, when you know the exact time, it's a matter of seconds, it's like... Anybody in the group can jump in. I believe it's a minute or 30 seconds. I believe it's very, very close to about 20 to 30 seconds, so I'm going to give you some discretion on that. And then what do they do with these video clips? They send them directly to the parents. They yes. do send them to the parents. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow, it's really not that hard, guys, you see? It's really not that far that hard. So what happens when it goes to the parents? What's the point of this? It punishes them for... Punishes the parents. No, no, no. He leaves the kids who are driving pretty much for anything that changes while they're driving. So even if they're not texting but it does, it does, you know, um, victim. It could catch them if they're texting. It could catch them if they're putting on makeup. It could catch them if they're eating. It could catch them if they're doing wrong things. It could also exonerate them if they were doing everything that was right. What did they find out that happened when these cameras were installed in these kids' cars? Y'all still have it. The instances of, like, crashes are dangerous, uh, like, I don't know, changes in G-force went down. Right. The incidence of the emails, which actually is a reflection of the changes in the G-forces, they drop dramatically. And, and the argument on this was, this is a person's privacy, it's a person's property versus order or safety that was actually on the road. So they did actually work really, really well. We'll do a couple of more of these. 
If you want to pick a category, can because y'all are in the game. If you need to step out, that's fine. Can we go <laughs> points? No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get points. Okay. Is that is that? <laughs> I'm gonna. No, no, there is not. I'm gonna switch cameras. Okay. Oh, they're, they're both dying. Okay. Uh, use those other batteries. Okay. Yeah. 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40. We got 43 here. 20, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 56. So, one more question. You'll pick a category. Chapter 2 for 5. Go ahead. We're done now. Go ahead, click it. Fractions. Y'all have the first shot at fractions. Fractions that are relevant to class. And then the next first hand I see, we'll get it next. The three fifths compromise. Okay, go ahead, explain it. All right, that's about... You have a chance to win right now. You know that, don't you? Slaves... What are they? What are they? Back in the day, slaves had... For every five slaves counted for three votes, correct? Five slaves counted as three people for voting purposes. I'll let that slide. Anything else? Four. Uh, related to the three-fifths clause? Anything else related to other fractions? Uh, Two. Did, did, uh, the southern states uh, wanted this, uh, or the northern states wanted this less, I believe, because the southern states had more slaves, so it would balance the uh, big states with more population. That's true, but I just need fractions right now. Oh, okay. Examples of fractions. Nine, nine thirteenths. What's nine thirteenths? I want to say it has to do with the... Five. Four. Anybody in the group? Three. Supreme oh, Court. you have a chance to win. Supreme Two. Supreme Court. Supreme Court. What about the Supreme Court? There's 13 uh, uh, seats in the Supreme Court, right? Even Britain shaking her head. Minus four. The chance is gone. Who's got it next up? No, we had it next up. Go. The nine out of 13 states were needed to ratify the Constitution. To ratify the Constitution. No, Jersey. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Now you have a chance to win. The reason that. Just need fractions. Just need fractions. Oh, the fractions. No other fractions? First hand I see. Go ahead. Two thirds. What's two thirds? Two thirds of the House to propose an amendment. Two thirds of the House to propose an amendment. Just the House? Five. Four. And oh. I have another example. What's that? And Senate? House and the Senate. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Now you have a chance to win. Two thirds of the House and the Senate proposes a constitutional amendment. Three fourths to uh, ratify it. Three fourths of what? Of all states. Three fourths of the states. One, two, three, four, five. Two thirds. Three fourths. Three fifths. Nine thirteenths. Anything else? Oh, 1313. What's 1313? That was the beginning with the Articles of Confederation for all the states to uh, pass it. Pass a law! One, two, three, four, five. It had to be unanimous for 1313s. Anything else? Um, two thirds. There was another thing for two thirds. Go ahead. Two thirds for the. To override a presidential veto. Two thirds to override a presidential veto. One, uh, pardon me, Congress to override the presidential veto, yes. So two thirds, three fifths, three quarters, nine thirteenths, thirteen thirteenths. Keep that all in mind. So we go ahead and touch the board really quick. Um, go ahead and touch three here for citizenship. List all you can, click it. Declaration of Independence. Make sure that you know who wrote it, who it was written about, who was it written for, what the purpose of it was, maybe some quotes, and if you remember, there was a schoolhouse rock about that. Go ahead, touch the house. Oh, God, Doug, you're filming with two cameras. Nobody's ever done that before. I know, Go ahead, I five for citizenship, please. Five for citizenship, please. This one could die at any time, so... Catholic school teacher, there's a video with my old intern talking about this. Make sure you can tell me the story. And when I say don't just write two or three sentences for these, you kind of see what I'm talking about when I say. Pregnant teacher, you're saying? That's the one. Go ahead. Um, yeah, that one. Pictionary. The Constitution Pictionary. Actually, that was vomit. We did it. The baby was going to be the Articles Pictionary. And baby, we talked obviously about abortion today, and, and, and we also talked about um, abortion within the context of stare decisis, so kind of keep that in mind. Federalism for one, it does that sometimes. How many governments are in the U.S. today? Go ahead, click it. 
About 90,000, go ahead, touch the house. 90,000 different governments, yes. Meaning systems of government. Uh, federal, state, local, city, county, school board, yeah. Go ahead, touch the house. Um, three points for Fed. List all you can. Was going to be, we dealt with commerce pretty good. Go ahead, click it. That one may not have gone black. And then four points. Does state or, or does state or federal government have the most power in American history? Go ahead, click it. And this is what we talked about today. In the first third or in the beginning, the power was predominantly with the states. From the end of the Civil War up until basically the Great Depression or FDR, it was roughly equal. Since 1932, the federal government has grown dramatically. And then articles for five or one. Yeah, go ahead. Tom, okay, that one was actually going to be war powers. Who's got the power to declare war? Congress. Congress does. What is the president's authority? Yes. President directs the war once it's been declared, or the president has 60 days to assign troops, but it's not a declaration of war. Go ahead, click it. And then last one, uh, I believe it's a touchdown. Yeah, for five. List all you can. And that one was actually going to be, you know what, that's all. But anyway, um, on these, 40, 45, 50, 55, 58. 55, 34, 61. Okay, see if you're right, plus 11. Liberals, if you're right, plus 9. Jersey, if you're right, plus 7. Romneys, if you're right, plus 5. Sign your names and give it to me at the end. You can stop. Mercifully. Mercifully. Okay. Wait, wait, now.